Microsoft Word. In this video, we are going to see about what is Microsoft Word. The term word processing means writing, editing, and production of documents as letters, reports, and books through the use of a computer program or a computer system. Most people who use a computer commonly use word processing tools. The word processing software allows user to create text documents that includes pictures and drawings. Microsoft Word is a versatile, easy-to-use word processing program. A word processor enables users to create documents like letters, resume, letterheads, and business usage. Store it electronically on a disk. Enter and modify characters using keyboard and print with the help of printer. The word processor has different variety of uses and applications within the business circle home and education departments. The advantage of using Microsoft Word MS Word has many features like highlight, table creation, justify, fonts, paragraph, bullets and numbering, editing the document, adding pictures and graphs, creating group letters, spelling and grammar check, etc. Versions of Microsoft Word Word 1990 to 1995, Word 1997, Word 1998, Word 2001 or Word X, Word 2002 or XP, Word 2003, Word 2004, Word 2007, Word 2008, Word 2010, Word 2011, Word 2013. MS Word 2013 is the latest version and its advantage is its ability to store and access files in cloud storage. Click Start button in computer, then click All Programs and then click Microsoft Office. Under the Microsoft Office button, click Microsoft Word 2010. The Microsoft Office button in Microsoft Word 2007 has been replaced with the File tab on the ribbon in Microsoft Word 2010. Clicking on File, it will open a full screen menu that allows Word documents to be created, saved and printed. Quick Access Toolbar consists of Save, Undo and Redo buttons. Title bar contains the title of a document. Menu bar is one of the part of a screen or a window which get divided into many tabs. Horizontal ruler is used to change the indentation of lines by dragging its hangings. Windows controls consists of three buttons such as minimize, maximize and close. Vertical scroll bar is used to move document vertically up and down. Text area is center place of a Word document. User can type text in it. Zoom tool present at the bottom right corner of a document which is used to zoom in and zoom out a document.
Opening a word processing package. Now let us see opening a word processing package. Method 1. Single click the word icon which is present on the taskbar. Method 2. Double click the word icon which is present on the desktop. Method 3. Click Start, then click All Programs, then click Microsoft Office, then click Microsoft Word 2010. Opening an existing document. In this video, we are going to see about how to open an existing document. To open Microsoft Word 2010 document from File tab, click Open option. Or use keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus O. Now, user will navigate to the open window. From the list, select all Word document. Choose the desired file to be opened and then click open or just double click on the file to be opened. Saving a document. In this video, we are going to see about how to save a document. Saving a document is the process of applying the modifications to the original Word document. Whenever the user creates or edits a document, it is stored in the temporary memory until the user saves the document permanently. The data can be lost if a power failure or computer hardware problem occurs. So, it is always good practice to save the work frequently. The rules for naming documents are File names can contain up to 260 characters including the drive letter, the folder name and extension. The following characters cannot be used in a file name. Front slash, backslash, angular brackets, asterisk, question mark, double quotes, colon, modulus. File names can include uppercase letters, lowercase letters or a combination of both. They can also include spaces. Before saving a new document, decide as where to save it. Some guidelines about saving documents in Word. Under File menu, click Save as option. It will navigate users to the Save as window. User can create new folder in the desired place by selecting the new folder option in the Save As dialog box. Then choose the file type and type the file name in the file name text box and then click Save button. After the document is saved in the desired location, if user wish to save the edited content again, they should use the save button from the file menu. Otherwise, use the keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus S to save the edited text. Saving process will display in the process bar. Closing document. In this video, we are going to see about how to close a document. After finishing the work on a document, then the user needs to save it and then close the document and he can open another document or exit the word.
method 1 user can close the document by clicking the close option from the file tab method 2 Use keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus F4, it will close the current document. Text selection. Now, let us see the process of text selection. Selecting text is a basic technique that makes revising the document easy. When text is selected, that area of the document is called selection and it appears as a highlighted block of text. A selection can be a character, group of characters, word, sentence or paragraph or the whole document. There are many different ways to select the text. Select the text by dragging the mouse over the desired text while keeping the left mouse button depressed. Or hold down the shift key on the keyboard while using the arrow buttons to highlight the text. To select the whole word, use double click within the word. To select the whole paragraph, use triple click within the paragraph. To select entire document, choose editing, then click select and then click select all from the home tab. Or use keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus A. User can also select whole line by using keyboard shortcut as Shift plus Home or Shift plus End keys. Editing text. Now we are going to see what is editing text. Using the word, user can quickly and painlessly edit text you which have already typed. There are many ways to edit content in a document. Typing and inserting text. To edit the text, just start typing. The text will appear where the blinking cursor is located. Move the cursor by using the arrow buttons on the keyboard or positioning the mouse and clicking the left button. The keyboard shortcuts listed below are also helpful while typing the text in a document. Beginning of the line, home key. End of the line, end key. Top of the document, control plus home key. End of the document, Control plus End key. Inserting additional text. Text can be inserted in a document at any point using any of the following methods. Type text, copy and paste text, cut and paste text, drag text. Type text. Place a cursor where user wants to add text and type it. Check whether if user is in overwrite mode or not. When editing text in overwrite mode, it replaces any existing characters to the right side of the insertion point. To make it in non overwritable mode, follow these steps. Click File Menu, then at the bottom, click Option. In the left pane, click Advance. 
Under Editing Options, select or clear the Use Overtype Mode checkbox. Copy and paste text. To select a word or a line, click the Copy button under the Home tab or use Ctrl plus C. Then, place the cursor where to paste the copy text. Click Paste button under the Home tab or use Ctrl plus V. Select a word or a line, then click the Cut button under the Home tab or use Ctrl plus X. Then, place a cursor where to paste the text. Click Paste button under the Home tab or use Ctrl plus V. Drag text. Select a portion of text that the user wants to move from any of selection options. Take mouse pointer to the place where to place the text. Keep both the documents open. Click Arrange All button under the View tab. After that, two documents will be displayed like this. Select the text from one document and hold User Left Mouse button and drag that text to the next document. Deleting blocks of text. User can use backspace or delete key on the keyboard to delete text. Backspace key will delete text to the left of the insertion point. Control plus backspace keys will delete the whole word to the left of the insertion point. Delete key will delete the text to the right of the insertion point. Control plus delete keys will delete the whole word to the right of the insertion point. Undo and redo changes. To undo changes, use any one of the following methods. Click the undo button on the quick access toolbar. Use keyboard combination as Ctrl plus Z. To read changes, use any one of the following methods. Click the Redo button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Find and Replace. In this video, let us see the section of Find and replace. To find a particular word or phrase in a document, click Find button on the editing group from the Home tab. Or use keyboard shortcuts as Ctrl plus F. In the left side of the Word document, it displays the navigations for finding. Now, user can type the word to search, then press Enter. To find and replace a word or phrase in the document, click on the drop-down list where user typed their word. Then, choose Replace option or click Replace button on the editing group. Or use keyboard shortcuts as Ctrl plus H. Find and Replace dialog box appears with a selected Replace tab.
In the Replace with text box, type the word to be replaced. Click the Replace All button to replace all the instances of the word in the document. A dialog box will appear indicating the number of replacements made. Click the OK button. Printing a document. In this video, we are going to see about how to print a document. Under File tab, click Print option. Or use keyboard shortcut with the combination of Ctrl plus P. Now, Printing options appears in the right side of the Word document. Select the number of copies to be printed. Then, select the printer name from the list which will get printed. In the settings, first drop-down list displays four options. Print all pages for entire document printing. Print selection for selected page printing. Print current page for current page printing. Print custom range for only given pages to be printed. Pages can be specified by entering the page number in the text box. After all changes made, finally click print button to get the printout. Creating and printing a merge document. Now, let us see the process of creating and printing a merge document. Mail merge is a useful tool that will allow the user to easily produce a set of documents. Each document has the same kind of information, yet some of the content is unique. For example, in advertisement or invitation letters, the main contents will be the same, but there will be difference only in the name and address for each customer. The information in each letter comes from entries in a data source such as a spreadsheet. If there is no existing address list, then create the new address list. Creating a merge document A mail merge document is created in MS Word to print mailing documents. The data and fields for merging documents are imported from the MS Excel database. Creation of documents depends mainly upon knowing what data should be printed and what format should be applied. Start Microsoft Word 2010 and type the letter content. Click Mailings tab then click Start Mail Merge option. Select step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. It will open a mail merge window on the right side of the screen. Then, choose the document type as needed. The definition of each type will be displayed below and then click on Next. Select Use Current Document. 
This option will use the currently opened document to create mail merge. Then click Next. Select Use an existing list. This will use the existing Excel document for student details. Then click the Browse option to select the existing student details document. Now, a mail merge recipients dialog box will be displayed. From that, select the recipients to whom the mail is to be sent. Then click OK. Now, place a cursor on the document where the address of the recipient is to be added. Then, click the address block option and select the needed recipient's name format from the mail merge wizard window. Now, the address block will be included in the document. Then, place a cursor in the right side of the document and click on the greeting line option and select the needed greeting line format to be included. Then, click next. Now, the mail merge document preview will be displayed. Then, click next. Printing a merge document. Printing a merged document is as same as a normal document. User gets an extra window where user can select which data source to use and which records to print. Under Mailings tab, choose Finish and Merge Group, then select Print Document. Then, from Merge to Printer dialog box, choose the document page which needs to be printed. User can choose either all, current record, particular page intervals. Character formatting. Now, let us see the process of character formatting. The text in user document is very plain. So, user can add some formatting features like bold, italic, underline, font, font color, etc. to add some interest and emphasis to the text. Use the mouse to drag and select a word in a document. Font style selection. Select font drop down list box to choose the required font. Click bold to add bold formatting since the text is selected. The text appears darker and slightly larger. Again clicking on the bold to remove the bold formatting as well. Slants the character by clicking on italic. Click underline to add underline to the selected text. Font size selection. Font size can be kept as needed by choosing the required size. Click down arrow from the font size and choose appropriate size. Or click grow font or shrink font buttons to change the font size. Font and text highlight colors selection. Select the text, then click the arrow of the font color button to display a list of colors. Try to move the mouse pointer over different colors. Now text color will change automatically.
select the text, click the arrow of the text highlight color button to display a list of colors. Try to move the mouse pointer over different colors. Now text highlight color will change automatically. Text effects selection. Select the text that user want to apply text effects. Click the arrow of the text effects button to display a list of effects including outline, shadow, reflection, glow, etc. User can select any one of the text effects by simply clicking over it. Paragraph formatting. Now we are going to see about paragraph formatting. Paragraph formatting is the process of modifying the contents of the paragraph to make it formal, attractive and understandable. Alignment of paragraph. There are four types of alignment. Left, center, right. And justify. Select the text or paragraph to align. To make the left align, click left align button or use keyboard shortcuts as Ctrl plus L. To make center align, click centered button or use keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus E. To make right align, click right align button or use keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus R. To make justify, click justify button or use keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus J. Paragraph indenting Method 1 Select the line to apply the indent, then press increase indent or decrease indent button in paragraph group. Method 2. Open the paragraph dialog box launcher which is on the lower right corner inside paragraph group. Click the small arrow to change indent. Specify the left and right indent values. Click the drop down menu under special. Select first line. It automatically indent the first line of each new paragraph. User can change the value that each line needs to be indented. User can see a preview changes at the bottom of the dialog box. Click OK to save user changes and apply them on the document. Method 3. Click on the Page Layout tab at the top of the ribbon in MS Word 2010. In the section of paragraph, click on the little arrow button in the bottom right hand corner. The user will be navigated to the same paragraph dialog box which can be viewed in the second method. Then, make all the changes as user desired and click OK and continue typing.
bullets and numbering. Select the text or paragraph to apply bullets and numbering. Under the Home tab, go to Paragraph Selection and Bullets icon to apply bullets to the selected text. Click Numbering icon to apply numbers to the selected text. Page Design and Layout In this video, we are going to see about Page Design and Layout. While creating the document, the user should first consider about the page layout of the document. MS Word offers the following page design and layout options. Page orientation Page margins Page size Page Orientation Word offers two pages orientation option. One is landscape and another one is portrait. To change page orientation, select the page layout tab. Click the orientation command in the page setup group. A drop down menu will appear. Click either Portrait or Landscape to change the page orientation. The page orientation of the document will be changed. Page Margin A margin is the space between the text and the edge of your document. By default, a new document's margin are set to normal, which means it has a 1 inch space between the text and each edge. Steps to format page margins To change the margins of the document, select the Page Layout tab and then click the Margins command. A drop down menu will appear. Click the margin size which is needed. The margins of the document will be changed. Page size. Steps to change the page size. To change the size of the current page, select the Page Layout tab and then click the Size command. A drop down menu will appear. The current page size is highlighted. Click the desired predefined page size. The page size of the document will be changed. Checking and correcting spelling. Now, let us see the process of checking and correcting spelling. Spelling and grammar errors. Word checks the spelling and grammar frequently as the contents are typed. A red squiggly line under a word denotes that word thinks it has been spelled incorrectly. If the line is green, then the grammar may be incorrect. If the line is blue, then the word is correctly spelled but improperly used. Checking errors User can check the whole or part of the text for mistakes by using the Spelling and Grammar button from the Review tab. Spelling and Grammar pane will appear. For each error in the document, 
word will try to offer one or more suggestion. User can select a suggestion and click change to correct the errors. Word will move through each error until the user review them all. After the last error has been reviewed, a dialog box will appear confirming that the spelling and grammar check is complete. Then click OK. If no suggestions are given, user can manually type the correct spelling in their document. Ignoring errors. The spelling and grammar check is not always correct. There are also some times when the spelling and grammar check will say something's an error when it's actually not. Ignore. This will skip the word without changing it. Ignore all. This will skip the word without changing it and it will also skip all other instances of the word in the document. Add to dictionary. This adds a word to the dictionary so it will never come up as an error. Make sure the word is spelled correctly before choosing this option. Word provides an explanation for why it thinks something is incorrect. This can help the user to determine whether they want to change it or ignore it. Automatic spelling and grammar error settings. For the review tab, click the spelling and grammar button and then click options. Word Options dialog box will appear. On the left side of the dialog box, select Proofing. If the user does not want Word to automatically check spelling, uncheck Check Spelling as you type. If the user does not want Word to check for contextual errors, uncheck Use Contextual Spelling. If the user does not want grammar errors to be marked, uncheck Mark Grammar Errors as you type. Then click OK. Handling Graphics Let us see the function of Handling Graphics. Graphics can be added into the Word document by choosing the required options available under the Insert and Page Layout tabs. There are a variety of several other types of options which user can use to illustrate many different types of ideas. Clip Art Clip Art is a collection of graphic images that can be inserted in documents. Click the Insert tab and from the Illustrations grouping, click on Clip Art. Clip Art Task Pen will open on the right of the screen. Three fields are provided. User can search for a particular topic in all the collections provided by Microsoft and all media types. After clicking the Go button, the search will return a list of clip art. Click once on the clip art to insert it into the user document. Wrap test. 
Wrapping means that text flows around a graphic object rather than over it. Click on the image to be wrapped and from the Arrange Grouping under Page Layout tab, select the Wrap Text option. Click one of the text wrapping options that appears. Click more layout options to change which sides of the object to place text or change the distance between the text and object. When graphic is selected, user can also click, hold and drag the graphic to a new position. It allows the user to control how many lines of text are above, to the right or left of the graphic? Insert picture. Place a cursor in the document where the picture or illustration wants to be inserted. Click the Insert tab on the ribbon. Click the Picture button. Browse the picture to include. Select the picture and click on the Insert button. Now, the selected image appear in the document. Word Art Word Art is another powerful graphics tool that the user can use to make their documents with visual impact. Click Insert tab from the text grouping, then click the Word Art drop down arrow. Click a style of Word Art from the gallery. Type the text in your text here box. It can be resized by dragging the white handles and position as desired. Watermark A watermark is a graphical object which appears very faintly in the background of a page. Click the Page Layout tab in the ribbon. Click the Watermark button in the Page Background group. Click Watermark that is needed for the document or click Custom Watermark to create a new watermark. Printed Watermark dialog box appear. Under Text Watermark, type the text, then click OK. An image can also be used as a watermark. Again, select custom watermark in the printed watermark dialog box. Click picture watermark option. Then, click on select picture button to insert the picture watermark. Finally, click OK. To remove watermark, click Remove Watermark option from the Watermark drop-down list. Creating Tables and Charts In this video, we are going to see about how to create a table and charts in Word document. Insert a table. Click Insert tab on the ribbon, then click the Table button and then select Insert Table option. From Insert Table dialog box, select the desired number of columns and rows. Then click OK. Insert a row or column. Position the cursor in the table where the user would like to insert a row or column.
right click the mouse and click on insert option to insert a row click either the insert row above or the insert row below button to insert a column click either the insert columns to the left or insert columns to the right button or it can be done on layout tab delete a row or column position the cursor in the row or column which is to be deleted then right click the mouse and then click delete cells option click the delete entire row to delete a row or click delete entire column to delete a column then click ok creating chart a chart is a tool which the user can use to communicate the data graphically Including a chart in the document will help the reader to see the meaning behind the numbers and it makes the comparisons to be shown easier. The word has many different types of charts allowing the user to choose the one that fits best to the data. In order to use charts effectively, user needs to understand as how different charts are used. Position the cursor on the document where the chart is to be inserted. Open the insert ribbon. Click chart in the illustrations section. Select the style of chart to insert then click OK. Now, chart and spreadsheet will appear. The source data appears in the spreadsheet is used to create the word chart. After it has done, click the close button to close the spreadsheet. The chart will be completed. User can edit the chart data at any time by selecting the chart and clicking the edit data button on the design tab. Creating charts with existing Excel data. If the user already has the data in an existing Excel file for which the chart is to be created, then the user can transfer the data by copying and pasting it. To copy the data, open the spreadsheet in Excel, select and copy the desired data and paste it into the source data area of the word chart. This can be useful when the user knows that user needs to update the data in his Excel file and when he needs his word chart to automatically update whenever the Excel data is changed. Document Templates and Wizards Now, we are going to see about how to use templates in Word document. Document templates in Word are very simple and it offers customizable options. Document templates will help the user to prepare his documents as it looks more attractive and formal. There are many predefined templates in different categories such as letters, charts and diagrams, reports, certificates, business cards, books, calendars, etc. Open Microsoft Word document and click on File tab, then select New Option from the Backstage view.
available templates page appears Microsoft Word 2010 provides some built-in templates which can be used to create documents and also download and install additional templates. There are many standardized templates which can be used for some specific purposes like creating an agenda, calendar, invitations, job descriptions, resume, etc. Create documents For creating a document, click File, then click New. Then click Sample Templates, select one of them, click Create. Now that particular document created in the new Word file. Download Templates. For downloading templates, click on Blank Document, then select one of them, then click Download button. Downloading template dialog box appears and it is downloading the template.